have a good view of the script here in order to work. Well, I'm Clint, and I'm the creative director on Far Cry 2, and uh, I have about 35 minutes up here. I'm going to give you um, a demo of the game for about uh, 15 or 20 minutes, and then after that I'm going to give you a demo of the level editor um, and let you show what we can do with that. Um, um, wow, um, this is not a demo, actually. This, is, this box right here is the production kit from my desk at the office. I stuffed it in a bag and got on a plane last night. Um, so I'm literally playing a save game in the middle of the walkthrough that I'm doing right now. Uh, we're about to go into getting feedback. We're about to go into submission, insert, and all of that stuff. So um, the game is almost done. Of course, you're still going to see bugs. You're still going to see all sorts of craziness, uh, the usual. Um, How do you like the UFO level? I think maybe you don't like so much. Okay, crank it. Do you ever meet a Gurkha? They are great warrior race. Famous. Most people never meet them. Today you can. First, you go to Cat Ranch there and kill men inside. So this is my buddy Yosef, and actually in the game, um, there, are, there are 12 buddy characters. You actually choose your avatar from one of them. Uh, in this particular game, I actually have three buddies unlocked, uh, and my avatar is, is, uh, is Zhang Yang Bai, so he's not going to ever be listed there because I'm playing him. Uh, Yosef is my best buddy, Carvani is my second best buddy, and this girl Michelle uh, is, is another buddy that I've met in the past. And as, as I meet them and learn more about them, I get more information about them and so on and so forth. My best buddy is the person that I do sort of optional versions of the missions with, and that's why I'm meeting Yosef here. Um, he actually contacted me, and I have a mission from the APR to destroy this fuel tanker, um, but he actually, Yosef called me and said, um, you know, why don't you come and meet me? I've got some information for you, um, and maybe we can work together on this thing. My second best buddy down there is, is Carbani Singh. He's, uh, he's, he says, rescue ready. What that means is I met Carbani at, a, at one of these safe houses, like the building I'm in right now, and basically he said, if you get into trouble, I'm going to be there to back you up. So basically he's standing by to bail me out if I get killed, and now I'm meeting Yosef to find out uh, what information he has about the mission. He is not good guy. He is little man, bean counter. There is hope between the soldiers already on train, ready to go, and he holds them back so they cannot go. Me, I want them to go. Very loudly. So, uh, rather than sticking around... Now, one thing that's um, cool is we always try and keep the player in the game, in first person, all the time. You're never going to be, you know, teleporting, you're never going to be in third person, even when you're driving a vehicle. You're not exiting to a menu to look at the map, right? Like, I have a map. Our game world is 50 square kilometers. This map is the northern district. It's, it's 5 by 5 kilometers. It's 25 square kilometers. I'm a little green arrow up in the top left corner there. There's another world that's the same size as this, this sort of southern region that's below it, the train tracks and the bottom connect to it. Um, if I zoom in on this area where I am, you can see um, my objective that I've been hired to do is to go to that red sort of target area in the rail yard and destroy the tanker car. And Yosef has asked me to go up to that blue target area, the cattle, the cattle ranch up there, and kill this, this guy that's sort of preventing some troops from coming to reinforce the rail yard. So I'm going to go and uh, uh, do what Yosef asked. Now, one more thing. Like I said, this is, this is not a demo. This is a live production build. I really have no idea what's going to happen. I can get killed at any time. The difficulty will be set on hard. So I'm just going to rock and roll a little bit and we'll see what happens. So.
rule. So the fire will get in the grass, it will propagate into the trees, into the branches. Oh, now I can hear it. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. You can see it spreading through the grass, spreading up into the trees. It all depends on what direction the wind is blowing, uh, how much fuel has been in the fire. You'll notice I have a gold AK. Uh, there are five of these in the game, and uh, you actually uh, find them just by exploration. Uh, all the weapons, I have a Mac 10, I have an RPG. You carry three weapons at a time, but all the weapons wear down over time and degrade. Um, the thing about the gold AK, why they're special, is because, because obviously gold doesn't rust. They, uh, they don't wear down as quickly as the regular AK, so it keeps the, the reliability really high. Uh, if I have a weapon misfire, I'll be sure to point it out to you, but uh, the weapon jams and you have to clear the jam in the middle of combat.